Starbraries are, like the name says, star plus library, a starbrary. Sometimes they're called lightbraries as well. They are crystals that are full of light, glyphs, etching, energy, and light codes that are transmitting information to different people on the earth at this time. Many people believe that they have come from the stars, that they are part of galactic families, that they are part of a collective of beings that are here on the earth at this time to help lift up and heal her people, the places, the animals, the energy. And it is believed that many of these crystals hold energy, codes of light, knowledge, information, and love to help to activate these people, these people who call themselves star seeds. There are many different families, many different vibrations, and so we see the same in the crystals, different types of markings and etchings, some which look like braille, some which look like mountainscapes, some which look like radiant light sparkling on the water, some which look like maps or almost as if these crystals have been through comets and have traces of those encounters left within them. All of these things can be true or not. It all depends on your perspective, of course. But for many people, they see these markings and instantly have an affinity to the energy of these crystals, not knowing why, not necessarily understanding it, but yet feeling it deep within. And those are the people that these crystals are calling. They all have their own energetic healing mission all of them have their own energies or flavors, if you would like to call it that, to help with different types of healing, different types of energy for people that are activated and are out in the world with energy and doing and finding and changing the warriors of light, the way showers, the people that are bringing new information, new insights, coming together in community and creating. And then there are those who are doing by simply being, by learning how to be themselves, to learn how to love themselves with light and love and energy, and in doing so, affecting everybody that they come into contact with, whether that is online or in person. And if you're watching this video, then you are likely part of that group of people who identify as starseeds. There are many different galactic families, many that are known and many that are yet to be known. Some use names like Pleiadians, Orion, Ursa Minor, the Syrians, the Arcturians, the Antarians, the Blue Avians, so many more, the Leonids, and then there are those that are purely high vibrational that have a feeling sense when you look at these different crystals. There, there is an energy about them that you relate to, but yet you can't quite put your finger on it. And these are groups of energies, galactic families, vibrational beings that ne don't necessarily use a name, but rather are vibrating just as you are, just in different frequency. And as every human is unique, so is every crystal, and every one of them will talk to you in a different way. One of the things I truly wanted to share is that there is no right or wrong way to interpret these. Many people will look at particular markings and say, oh, well, that's definitely Antarian, or no, no, that's Orionid or Syrian. If you are looking at it, and it feels like it is calling you, you're feeling a connection, there's something that stirs within you, the light, the lines, the etchings, whatever it is, then it is speaking with you. And who's to say that is right or wrong? That is entirely up to your own interpretation. So these are a few of my favorites that I wanted to share with you today. Just to give you an introduction, 
and as I do more videos I will share more about them, more about how to work with them, how to read them, and even, if you would like, how to pick them. I hope you find this enjoyable, and if you do, please comment. I am just starting my channel again, and I would really love to connect with you and get this information out to as many people as needed, because so many are waking up, so many are remembering who they are, and these wonderful crystals are a beautiful way to help to remember. I am Tanya. This is Light Code Crystals, and thank you for watching. We'll see you the next time.